I expected it to be the best day of my life, but it was the worst. That's not the way you hope a bride will recall her wedding day. But for Jodie Williams from Bromley, it was just that after her sister Carly collapsed from a cardiac arrest as she was walking down the aisle as her maid of honour. Well, they're here to tell their extraordinary story. Um, thank you to both of you for coming in. You hear stories, don't you, of, of weddings being dramatic, but my goodness me. Um, Jodie, so you're walking down the aisle. Carly is ahead of you. Yeah. What happened? What do you remember? Well, I got to the top of the aisle. Uh, all that I remember really is just some sort of commotion behind me. And I turned around and I saw my sister collapsed onto one of the other bridesmaids, my sister-in-law, onto her lap. And I thought that she'd fainted, to be honest, at first. And I sort of thought, what is she doing? You know, a bit of a panic attack, a bit sort of drama, drama queen, to be honest, <laughs> as, I've, as I've said. Um, and then... Uh, she didn't wake up obviously we then became the, we realized it then became a lot more serious than what we thought and um, we had to get someone forward called for a first aider to come forward and lucky one of the guests there Susan she came forward and performed CPR uh, my brother also performed CPR to begin with and my cousins so you were lucky that there were people in the audience yeah. that knew how to do CPR can, yeah. can I just ask you do you remember anything about the moments leading up to that at all? No, I don't remember anything. All I remember was in the morning, getting up, getting ready, getting on the train to go up there, sort of 8 o'clock in the morning, and then I don't remember anything until about two days later, waking up and being in hospital. I don't remember anything about even being at the hotel, at the venue, at all. And Jodie, it sounds quite trivial now, given that your sister's life was uh, obviously at risk here, but yeah. at, at what point, as the bride, yeah. do you kind of say, well, uh, this wedding might be off? Yeah, well, straight away I sort of thought, mm, you know, she got rushed off in the ambulance, I didn't want to call it off straight away, uh, but it, probably a couple of hours later I was waiting for the phone call from my dad to say, yes, you can go ahead, because I just wanted to be by Carly's bedside, to be honest. Now, uh, and Carly, just... Just for our views, we're just going to make it clear. This was a cardiac arrest when yeah. the heart malfunctions, it suddenly stops beating. You need to have CPR straight away yeah. or it is fatal. Yeah. There was a defibrillator, I understand, yeah. in the hotel. In the hotel, yeah. which was yeah. very lucky because obviously that, again, increases chances of survival. So there was a defibrillator in the hotel. And because we had guests there that were trained and they knew how to use a defibrillator, they were able to give me a shock before the paramedics arrived which also greatly improved my chances of survival. Now, it is bizarre, isn't it, because your actual real-life experience mirrors a campaign by the British Heart Foundation to raise awareness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and in that, it does show, uh, you know, a bride sort of, her wedding is disrupted yeah. because her maid of honour yeah. has a cardiac yeah. arrest. And yeah. I've never heard of that, but some of the nurses in the hotel, in the hotel, in the hospital, in the hospital, actually told me. I'd never, I'd never seen it, so I was really shots that yeah. they'd actually been an advert. It was strange, it's like it was pre premeditated the whole thing. It was just <laughs> bizarre to watch it back. We can we can sort of see this is the um, the sort honest. of campaign video Obviously, that yeah. the British Heart Foundation is here. Now, for your well, family this had. must have been an incredibly traumatic time. Oh, but your horrific. but your dad yeah. kinda of has has a way of looking at this, doesn't he? What what yeah. did he sort of say? Yeah, well he just said, um, you know, your wedding saved Carly's life because I thought maybe it's the stress of the wedding that caused the cardiac arrest. The consultant said that isn't the case, but my dad, my dad said, really, it saved, saved, saved her life, the wedding. So, so it's the best way there, to look There'd be no one CPR trained, no defibrillators. How so. often do you have a defibrillator next door, well, in the next room? That, Not that very is, often. That is a really good question, actually. Yeah. And, and yeah. Carly, this was about three months ago. Yeah. How are you now? Well, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm very tired still, and I'm getting quite a bit of anxiety still. Um, obviously, I suppose it's normal with what's Respected. happened. But I've made a good recovery and the consultants feel really pleased that I'm doing this well. So I'm the lucky, very well, lucky. thank you yeah. so much. We're, we're glad that you're here. We wish you, obviously, all the best uh, yeah. for your wedding when it happens. Yeah. No, and Carly, you. of course, to you. Thank you thank both you. very much indeed yeah. thank uh, you. for coming in. Well, um, now let's get a sense of just how common this is among young people. Carly was just 34 and get some practical advice. Tara Welsh has more details for us.